Well, I told you I was going to have a ton of celebrities here, and no shortage of that right now. Meg Squats, if you don't know who she is, check her out on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, wherever you want to check her out. But she is the real deal, and she is a badass. Meg, what are you doing here at the I'm CrossFit here. Games? I don't know how, why they let a power lifter in the CrossFit Games, but I'm pretty excited. Yeah. I walked in and I told someone I had a like kind of emotional experience because this is my first time being first at the time. CrossFit Games. I've been to regionals before, like a couple years back. Um, and it's so cool to see the stadium and rogue equipment and people are going to watch people in a stadium lift some weights. And as a powerlifter, that's super exciting. Is it, so now, you come from the powerlifting world where I've been to a couple of powerlifting competitions. And I think the one thing that they are lacking, which the Arnold did a pretty good job of with the strongman stuff, but the powerlifting, it's like everybody's quiet. Everybody's like, I'm like, I just want, I, I feel like you're the type of person who can fire up that audience. Oh, yeah. And I think there's definitely some lifters who are, you can see, uh, you know, they get stoked. There's yeah. definitely some. Um, and they fire up the crowd and they like try yeah, to get them yeah. fired up. We have them, they're there, but it's it's definitely also just a sport that isn't as easy to watch. And CrossFit does a nice job of letting you know like who's in the lead, what's going on. And I think powerlifting is starting to get better at it for yeah. sure, like you said at the Arnold. And it's starting to become a thing. Um, IPF Worlds just passed and there was a huge rivalry between Brett Gibbs um, and John Hack and John Hack, the USA lifter, actually ended up winning. Yeah. And the crowd was insane. And that's what insane. I insane. That's what I think. That's why I think a lot of these uh, weightlifting sports have never really taken off because they're not audience friendly. It's like everybody's got to be quiet. And I'm like, when I'm cheering for somebody, I don't want it to be quiet. I want to go nuts. I want to, yeah. you know, shake my chair. Right, no? right. And I think weightlifting and powerlifting too, they're also kind of different to watch. Yeah. Um, so it's fun to see those differences, but there are times, uh, they're definitely different, but I think as they get bigger and as like the CrossFit audience gets bigger and they're looking to see more people lifting yeah. like really heavy shit as they become more interested in strength sports, mm -hmm. it's just gonna keep getting more and more it's exciting. It's growing, which is yeah. awesome. So now from someone who is a powerlifter but trains in a lot of CrossFit gyms, um, how have you seen the sport of weightlifting evolve with it just just with them being in CrossFit gyms and stuff like that? Right. I think CrossFit gyms are great because it makes it so that, um, you know, it's hard to find a powerlifting gym anywhere. And yeah. few and far between. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And I mean, I live in New York City. It's super hard in Manhattan, the city that has everything. Yeah. You know, so I ended up lifting at a CrossFit gym for a little while until I found a barbell club that just opened you know okay. um so i always tell people if they're having a hard time finding a barbell club to join a crossfit gym see if they'll let you do an open gym and That's have that go. have that be your your foot in the door and yeah. your foot like getting a barbell in your hands um especially if you're a beginner it's always a great option so one of the first workouts this year was uh they flew them up to the ranch and then did those heavy deadlifts how excited were you to see the heavy deadlifts insane Brooke Wells ended yeah. up deadlifting 415, 415, which let me tell you, I would say maybe she'd be, I don't know how much she weighs. After the run, though, that's what's impressive. Insane. Yeah. You know, I peak, I rest for a week before <laughs> I don't do anything. Like, I'm sitting down the entire week before I get on the platform. And the fact that she ran, what was it, like seven, seven kilometers yeah. before and then deadlifted 415. That's a very competitive deadlift in the sport of powerlifting. Yeah. So, that's awesome. We're seeing a different breed of athlete, and I'm, I'm glad they're they're introducing those like, you know, just fundamental lifts, the deadlift, the squat, things I like that it. into the games. So you're out here for the first time. Are you enjoying yourself? You're I working just with. Got here. You're working with our boys. Caffeine and kilos. Yeah. Took me out here. They're like, oh, we're gonna take a chance on this crazy powerlifter girl. I love it. I think uh, it was a good gamble. I I think it was a good gamble. I'm happy. Yeah. I'm very I'm very very honored and. Uh, yeah, it's been exciting. Like I said, I got a little emotional seeing the field, and it's just like, wow, this is, look how far we've come. Lifting well, weights is crazy. Well, what, what do you have anything you're working on that you want our audience to know about? Um, yeah, if you want to check me out, make squats on YouTube. Um, I'm getting ready for USAPL Nationals. Last year, I finished in the top 10, and I'm hoping nice. to creep up there. Very I'm hoping nice. to creep up there in my weight class. Um, so, yeah, I will. I'm having a playlist that... You can follow my entire journey and watch me get ready for the national competition for the USA Powerlifting. And plug your Instagram, your YouTube? Yeah, everything is Meg Squats, so M-E-G Squats, because I like to squat, and that's what I do on my channel. 
Meg, thank you so much. Thank you. Glad Always you came by. You. Yes, you too.